And now here's your Friday pop news, everybody. Thank you, Larry. All right, guys, we are going to turn now to our GMA cover story. This one about moms and marijuana. One woman says that she believes microdosing, which is using small amounts of marijuana, actually makes her a better parent. This is an article that we first saw on Parents Magazine's website. Take a look. Let's face it, moms are stressed. Salute. And while some turn to what they call mommy juice or alcohol to ease their day, now some moms are microdosing THC, the active ingredient in marijuana. Just ask Alaska mom, Leah Campbell. She says microdosing actually makes her a better mom. I was this version of myself that I want to be. Um, a little more easygoing, happier, um, more fun, and not because I was high, but because I just wasn't stressing out all the time. Campbell, a single mom of a six-year-old, never really liked painkillers or smoking marijuana, but then she started using the drug in Alaska, where it is legal, in low doses, occasionally for pain relief from stage four endometriosis and anxiety. That was actually part of microdosing for me, was learning how to find the balance between pain and anxiety management and being high. She says this low dose helps reduce pain and even lowers her anxiety, but she also says it allows her to function. It's just a general leveling off, a kind of numbing of the pain, all of these sharp edges in my life, the anxiety, the pain, all of that mutes a little bit. And if her pain is in check, she says she has more time to focus on her family. My daughter deserves better than that. She deserves to have a mom who's enjoyable to be around and who isn't constantly snapping or exhausted or feeling like she wants to hide from the world. Yes, I'm a better parent. I'm a better person. I'm a better friend when I'm microdosing. All right, this is, they say in the business, is a talker, this one. So let's bring in our chief medical correspondent, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, with more on this. Good yeah. morning to you. Okay, break it down. What exactly is microdosing? How does this work? So in the field of pharmacology, the concept of microdosing is basically kind of sub-therapeutic, you know, lower tiny doses of a medication or a drug so that you can maximize the positive benefits or effects and minimize any side effects. The problem when you're talking about THC or or cannabis is that we don't know what the right dose is so that is potentially a, a, a problem and there are risks to this drug we can't forget that when you talk about the risks take a look at the list altered sensorium change in mood impaired body movement difficulty with thinking and cognition impaired learning and memory those are all possible so you can't o only talk about the positive effects of a drug without considering the risks or negatives we've on this show particularly talked a lot about this this mommy juice trend yeah. moms who want to take the edge off a little bit uh, because of stress. From a medical strand standpoint, though, when we're talking about this THC, what are the risks? Well, listen, I think we saw some of the risks, risks there. I think what's interesting is to think of the other side. What are the benefits? And in particular, the either-or scenario. Are you talking about someone who would normally be consuming alcohol or the Valium class of medication? There are actually worse risks to those drugs than there is to cannabis. Um, you know, the benefits where it's being intense researched for pain, for nausea, for insomnia, for anxiety, and I think we're going to see more in the future about what is the right dose, what is the right pa patient. When you talk about edibles, though, there's a delayed response yeah. to that, and you might get the dose wrong. It's hard to know. Okay, thanks. Really good advice here. We're going to turn it over to Ginger now. Yes, and we've got a GMA moment that starts in 